Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on this Hayabusa Double M bag. So stay tuned. All right guys, before I do the review, I'll give you guys a quick close-up of this double end bag. Um, it's manufactured in China and designed in North America. Uh, it's made of the same synthetic leather material like you can find in the T3 and H5 gloves. Uh, very durable and has a nice textured feel to it. You have a Hayabusa logo in white on uh, three sides on three different panels. You can see the stitching. You also have a recessed uh, fill port for the air pump to go into. Um, the top loop right here as well as the bottom loop, what you'll notice is that it comes uh, pre-installed with a nylon bungee cord that is actually um, connected with the staple right here. So the good news is that it really comes with bungee cords. You don't have to buy your own cords. The, ba the bad news is that um, if you wanted to use your own cords, you would essentially have to cut these and install your own uh, through these loops. So, uh, But it's nice that they include them. Uh, it has a carabiner on each end, so I have one attached to the ceiling. And then the next one uh, down here is attached to this uh, 35 pound weight plate, which is uh, more than enough weight to keep the, uh, the bag from scooting around. And you can see it comes with that carabiner. Um, and again, more of kind of like that heat shrink wrap that covers where the staple connects um, this uh, bungee cord to. Um, I actually had to make knots in mine in order to shorten it uh, to give it the rebound that I like. Um, but. Uh, it'll be obviously different for everybody based on the height of where they're mounting it. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'm doing a review on this Hayabusa double end bag. This retails for $39 through Hayabusa's website. Included with this bag, you also get this air pump that you can use to pump up the air, which is a really nice added accessory that they include with it. Dimensions wise, this bag is about 13 inches in height from the top loop to the bottom loop and about seven inches in diameter around the fattest part of the bag. The bag itself, like I mentioned earlier, is manufactured in China, um, designed here in North America, and it is made of this synthetic leather type material. Uh, very similar, if not the same, is the same material they use in like their T3 Compeki gloves or even their H5 gloves uh, that are synthetic as well. Um, probably one of the better synthetics that are out there, are much thicker has better durability in terms of sweat and moisture resistance uh, from what I've used in the past when it came to Hayabusa. Um, it does have pretty simple design to it and look. Um, you have the three Hayabusa logos on each panel. Uh, another good feature about this bag, which I wish it was a little bit lower, is you have the bladder uh, inflation port right here on the face of the bag, um, which I've never really been a fan of when it came to double end bags. I wish that they would probably put them a little bit lower because it's right on the impact point of where you punch the bag. So sometimes when you punch it hard enough or at a wrong angle, what ends up happening is on the inside where the bladder is at, you might, you might end up splitting where the bladder is glued to the insertion port. So it would have been nicer for this port to be in a different position, maybe a little bit higher up or, or lower down, which obviously would probably change the shape of the bladder on the inside. Uh, but as far as longevity goes and not popping the bladder, um, I think that would be a big benefit. Um, one other thing about this bag that's really nice is that they actually include these nylon bungee cords, which are about 30 inches in length. And obviously they can stretch however you need it to. Um, it doesn't really have adjustability in terms of an adjustability system. So for me, in order to shorten the length of the cords, I just put a knot in the actual nylon bungee cord um, to shorten it both in terms of height and how much uh, rebound I want out of this bag. Um, so you do have that that is included on both top and bottom that has metal carabiners that are attached to that. Uh, if you're not a fan of these uh, bungee cords, then the good thing is that you still have the traditional loops at the top and the bottom of this double end bag. So if anything, you can get yourself a pair of scissors and just cut this uh, cord off and put in uh, whatever kind of bungee cord you want to use. It's completely up to you. Now, what's unique about this bag is the shape. Um, traditionally with double end bags, at least the ones I've used in the past, um, they're usually either like teardrop shape, almost like a, 
the Clatoreus one I've used, or uh, they're completely round, like the ringside uh, double end bag. What's unique about this is this has more of like, I guess you can say like an onion shape, where it's really round around the center section of the bag right here, and then it kind of tapers uh, kind of inward and upwards. What I love about that is that this bag is good for straight punches, but what it's also really good for is because of the steep um, angles of the bag, it's really good for uppercuts as well, hooks and uppercuts, and even overhand punches if you're doing some kind of overhand right uh, or an overhand hook. Uh, because of that shape, you get best, the best of both worlds. You, so you can hit it with your straight on punches, um, and you can also hit it with your hooks. And that's not to say that you can't do that with the other um, style double end bags, you can, but just this makes it a little bit more easier and convenient in terms of that punch surface where it has that real, uh, really deep cut. The other thing about this double end bag that is unique and I think has more to do with the bungee cord that they include and, and a little bit of the shape of this bag is that it moves a little bit more erratically. It has a little bit more buoyancy to it, if that makes sense when you hit it. Whereas like the Reyes bag and the ringside bag and some of the other double end bags in the past, they have much more of a, a horizontal trajectory when you hit it. It's just kind of straight back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the speed and the pace just varies on how hard you hit it and how fast you hit it. With this, this has much more of a bobbing movement when you're hitting it. So it's a different type of feel when you're hitting this double end bag compared to the other double end bags I've tried. And again, I think that has more to do with the style of this bungee cord that's attached to it. So again, you can see one thing is if you hit this on perfectly on center, the bag will have that straight rebound like you see right here. So no issues there. The minute you start to kind of hit it off center or you're not level with your punches is when you'll start seeing it kind of bob around a little bit like that. And I actually like that. I like the fact that it gives you a little bit more challenge in terms of timing the bag and it's not so much the same as some of the other bags. So you can see how it has kind of that upward and downwards buoyancy. You still get that nice horizontal motion, but it's starting to bob up and down it will tell you that you're not hitting it directly on center with the bag because then it'll start to bob up and down. So it's kind of like twofold. It tells you that you're not hitting it perfectly on center because you're not getting that straight horizontal movement, but it also adds a layer of difficulty, in my opinion, because of that movement that you get from it when it does start to kind of bob. So now you have to really time it and place your punches more accurately. Whereas some of the other, other double end bags, they're a lot more forgiving. You could really hit it kind of anywhere on the surface of the bag and it'll continue to go on that same trajectory. Uh, with this one, you don't really get that. So. I actually like that added level of difficulty. And you can see it moves really quick. Very comparable. It feels good when you punch it. Um, it has a really nice feel of pop and feedback. Um, obviously I'm hitting it just bare hand right now. Um, and it has no plastic patches, nothing, you know, with sharp edges or scratchy on the surface. So if you didn't have boxing gloves on that day, and you were just training, maybe just using your bare hands, uh, you won't have any issues hitting this bag because there's, again, no sharp edges on it and um, nothing that could really do any damage to your skin. So that's a good thing. Um, I definitely think this is a really cool bag, honestly, especially for $39. I think it's priced perfectly at the price point. Um, I do love the fact that um, they include the bungee cords with the carabiners and you get um, an inflatable pump, uh, a pump that you can inflate the, the bag with. So the fact that you're getting the little extra accessories with the cord and the carabiners and the bag is shaped the way it is, um, you know, I definitely think this is a, a really good double end bag. I would say probably top three in terms of just the performance and the overall value for this bag compared to the other ones I have. And again, I think it's just very unique in the way it moves. Um, and that's probably the, the big thing um, that really, you know, jumped out at me when I first got this is when I started hitting it, I noticed it started having more of that, um, that regular kind of up and down movement, uh, which I, I found very challenging at first and I started kind of getting used to it over time. So overall, very satisfied with this Hayabusa double end bag. You know, it's held up 
fairly well the last couple of weeks. Um, the only thing I would probably be nice to see was other colorways that they can include other than just this black and white. Um, and other than that, I mean, I really can't really critique, critique it in any other way. Um, the quality is pretty solid for being a synthetic bag. Um, you know, the bladder hasn't popped, thankfully. Um, I've had a couple of the Reyes double end bag bladders pop on me and so far so good. Um, it's going to start heating up here in, in Phoenix in the next couple months, so I'm kind of curious to see how this does in hot weather, especially the bladder on the inside. But uh, so far, I'm very uh, satisfied with this bag. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this Hayabusa double end bag. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.